Difference from mo hills and mountains You counted me out cause you not good at counting Don't handle the money cause What's up guys? It's Skyler Here this morning Back with the crusty eyes Got some good content for you this morning We are at Chaffee today You might be asking, what are you doing? All the way in Chaffee today, Skyler Your boy is getting a tattoo today so, this morning, I'm going to take you through the experience of what it's like to get a tattoo. So guys, back home, tattoos finished, three and a half hours of just getting stabbed over and over. Uh, first 24 hours of getting a tattoo is probably the most important, so I have it wrapped up in some Saniderm, which is some medical wrap pretty much. I'll show you here. So it looks shiny right now because it's got a, it's got a clear film over it, but, but yeah, that's the Saniderm that's on it, so. <sighs> that done, out of the way, let's get into word of the day yeah so today's word of the day is Isaiah 54 17 it says no weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me declares the Lord so guys when I read this I I thought about it for a while and I keep I keep hearing the same thing like God's got my back he's got your back and I flipped over to a part in Deuteronomy um, that I remembered and it said it's Deuteronomy 3 20 says you shall not fear them for it is the Lord your God who fights for you so God's got your back I know that's really plain and simple but sometimes as humans I know that I like to have like reassurance you know I I might I might get stressed out about something or I might be waiting on the Lord like like I feel like I've I've prayed about something a lot, you know, or I've prayed about somebody a lot and I'm like are you hearing me up there Lord? You know, um he hears you. He is the reassurance. So, he's got your back guys. I love y'all. Um come out support the junior high tonight. Young adults is going to be out there cheering them on. Oh yeah. So, after that, sometimes when I read the Bible, guys, I get a strong sense of, I want to drink some chocolate milk. So, coming from a professional chocolate milk maker, I want to show you guys how to make the perfect glass of chocolate milk. I will include the type of milk, what you need to make it chocolate, and even how to drink it, how to drink it right, how to get the real taste so stay tuned because i'm going to show you how to make some chalky milk so guys the first thing you're going to need is some two percent milk okay listen why two percent skylar because whole milk is thick i just want to tell you something right now you got to be careful when drinking whole milk. it'll put you straight to sleep guys so i recommend the old two percent milk for the chocolate, can you guess what it is? Can anybody tell me? Maybe my favorite kind of like chocolate additive to make. So guys, listen, I'm old school. I like Ovaltine. It's awesome. It's actually like a malt milk, but it's to me it's not as rich and it's more of a more cocoa flavor. So right now, I'm about to pour the milk in the glass. This is a really important technique you need to learn. So guys, listen, I'm a professional chocolate milk maker. I need you to understand that you don't need to try this at home. I'm usually right-handed, but I'm holding the camera with my right hand. 
okay? So I'm gonna do it with my left hand. I'm a professional, so I can do this. Do not try this at home, please. Got the milk. Most people are like, oh, I'm gonna pour it just straight on. No. Look at the curvature of the gallon, the jug. You're gonna spill all down the side right here once you get to the bottom of this. See what I do? I pour from the label. Okay, guys? So you wanna pour from the side. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now that you have about, I'd say a three quarters full glass, you want to get your Ovaltine. I say Ovaltine, you know, if you're a real professional, but you know, whatever, Nesquik, you know, whatever, whatever it does you, okay? Get you a spoon, okay? Now, what we want to do here, you want to get three spoonfuls of Ovaltine. It's kind of hard to get three spoonfuls of Ovaltine whenever it's down at the bottom and I got one hand. I'm a professional guy, so like I said, don't try this at home. Mmm. This is the magic right here, guys. Boom. Three spoonfuls. Like I said, I'm a professional. Just want to stress that. Now, once you've poured it in there, you can give it a little whiff around with a spoon. But then, to really get it mixed in, you want to use a fork. It's like a whisk. Okay, this part is very important. I'm going to show you some very important stirring patterns that might just save your life. Okay, so now we got the chocolate milk just barely stirred up. You want to put the fork in. Now you can go with your basic circles, okay, but you want to get tight circles whenever you're stirring, okay. See, I'm almost making a little tornado. Now, if you get a little bit more on the advanced side, you do figure eight, okay. Figure eight is, it's not gonna cause a tornado, but it's really gonna stir up the bottom and the top. It's gonna cause two twisters down at the bottom of the cup to bring up your chocolate to the top so it's all mixed well. Because the last thing you want is your chocolate milk to be sitting at the bottom of the cup. You want it all and all distorted evenly. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my little tight stirs first. I like to start out fast. And then you do the reverse. Then I turn the other way. You go fast the other way maybe some figure eights. Then I call this one the J. This is really getting the stuff that's stuck at the bottom here, guys. And end it with a quick spin. Now, I have a beautiful glass of perfect, like, light brown chocolate milk, guys. Now, sometimes I like to add ice. You know, I like it to keep it cool. Um, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't like the when the ice touches my upper lip. Uh, so it's up to you at this point. Kings or queens out there, you're welcome for me making this video. Enjoy.